All right, we've got a 2014 Nissan Altima here. This is the four-cylinder model with the 2.5 engine, and we're going to be changing out the brake pads. Simple and easy to do. You can do it right there in your driveway. Don't have to take it to a shop. Save yourself some money. All right, so the first thing I do is I usually take a screwdriver. I come right up here in this slot, and I'll pull until the caliper comes all the way out to the edge and doesn't go any further. What that's doing is putting the piston back inside the caliper. Makes it a lot easier for you. Once that's done, 14 millimeter bolt. All you gotta do is take off this bottom one. Let's go ahead and get it off there real quick. Simple and easy. All right. Now, this is the cool part. All you gotta do at that point is just flip it up. Once you flip it up, just slide them out. And it was definitely time for brake pads. New one, old one, yes. Slide this guy right here out. All right. Now, there's a trick to getting them back in. One thing you want to do before you put them in, though, is make sure your sliders slide nice and easy. Everything is working like it's supposed to. And just pretty much goes side to side. All right. If they do not slide in and out, you need to go ahead and slide it off. There's a little rubber boot. Clean it up, put some grease in there, put it back in. All right. Here's the little trick for these things. You have a little, couple little tabs right here. All I do is I'll slide that little tab right here underneath this tab and kind of get the top one in first and then I work the bottom one in. Just like that. Makes it a lot easier, but you just have to make sure you slide that one tab underneath this tab and go from there. All right, let's do the back side. Back side is in the opposite direction. So do the same exact thing. All right, and just like that, it is on there. It does not go all the way down. Here's the little trick to that. All right, so if your piston isn't all the way in, no big deal. Grab a C-clamp. I literally just come right here, grab an old brake pad. At that point, just twist it a few times. And as you can see, it's starting to go in. And just like that, we're done. Pull that back off, and it should slide right back down. Just like that. Now let me show you again, it goes down so simple and easy. Grab the bottom a little slider, slide it in a little bit, put the caliper where it's supposed to go, put your bolt back in. Tighten up your bottom bolt. And just like that, that has changed out your brake pads on your 2014 Nissan Altimas. Very simple and easy to do. It's pretty much the same thing if you have the six cylinder in your Nissan Altima. So um, just different brake pads. Don't forget to check out CodyTheCarGuy.com for your DIY auto parts source. We carry a lot of transmission parts on there and your aftermarket bolt-on products. Anyways, hope that helps you guys. I'll catch you on the next one.